Let's start our square root review. First, it's important to understand what a square root is. It's a factor, when multiplied by itself, that produces a specified quantity. For example, the square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times itself equals 49. It's also important to understand what a perfect square is. A perfect square means that it's a product of two identical whole numbers. So when finding the square root of a perfect square, I will get a whole number. So for example, if I wanted to find the square root of 64, the perfect square of 8 times 8, my answer would be 8. Another example would be the square root of 16. Because 4 times 4 is 16, the square root of 16 is 4. But how does one find the square root of a number that is not a perfect square? Well, this year we practiced finding that through estimation. And we looked at our list of perfect squares, and we found the perfect square less than 39 and the perfect square greater than 39. So the closest smaller perfect square is the square root of 36. The next square root is the square root of 49. And then we compared. 39 is only 3 away from 36, but it's 10 away from 49. Therefore, the square root of 39 is closer to 36, and we estimated that its value is about 6.